Hi, this is Joe Davis, and I'm going to show you how to use the global content feature that was made available in Mojo Portal 2.3.6.1. Uh, this feature allows you to create one piece of content and uh, then mark it as globally available. And then on any other page, uh, any user that has rights to edit that page can go in and select that content from a list. So they don't need to, uh, you know, go look through the long content manager pages and find the right page to put it on, that kind of stuff. This really uh, speeds it up. So to get started, I'm on the Mojo Portal demo website. Uh, so if you see the, the skin change in the middle of it, uh, you, you know why uh, somebody else went in and changed it. But we'll go ahead and get started. And on the uh, contact page on the demo website, uh, I created a block called Quick Contact Info. And I'm going to want to share this with uh, uh, other people that can edit the site. Uh, and I want to also include it on the map page. And I want to do that real easily. So one way I can do that is I can just click Settings. I select the Security tab. And then check the Is Global box. And it's on the Security tab for good reason. And we'll get to that here in a minute. So I'm going to scroll down here and uh, click our Save button and it'll load up. Doesn't look any different, right? Well, I also want this on the map page, like I mentioned. So we'll select our map page. It's a nice Google map here. And I'm going to click the Edit This Page link. And you notice there's an Add Existing Content link next to the Location drop-down. So I'll select the right pane because that's where I'm going to want my quick contact information to be. And I'm going to click Add Existing Content. And you notice that there are two items here, Image Gallery and Quick Contact Info. So somebody else has already used the Image Gallery one, and we're going to go ahead and just use Quick Contact. We hit Select. There it is. We view the page, and there's our, our uh, Quick Contact Info block. And I'll do this once more, uh, just to kind of show you. On the home page, I also created a poll, a favorite color poll. So I'm going to hit Settings on it, go to the Security tab, Is Global, scroll down and click Save. Okay. Now, um, I want to include this on another page, so uh, we'll find a page here that we can include it on. Um, I think the contact page would be fine, that wouldn't hurt anything. So we're going to go ahead and click on Edit This Page. and notice we have quick contact info here and but that was already on the page so we want this to be in the left column we're gonna hit add existing content now take note that in this list quick contact info is not here and there's good reason for that it's already on the page if we uh, put it in this list and then you are allowed to put it on the page you'd have it there more than once and uh, you, that wouldn't make a whole lot of sense so if it's already on the page, it doesn't show it in this list. So we'll go ahead and uh, the favorite uh, color poll is right here. We'll click select and it adds it to the list. And we're going to want that uh, lower here. So we'll make sure it's lower and we'll view the page. There you go. Favorite color poll is now on this page and it's also on the other page. And the polls are all tied together. So we should be able to select our favorite color. It recorded our vote. Now when we go to the home page, it shows our vote is already there. So that, as you can see, is the same module. And now to get to that security aspect that I had uh, mentioned before. Um, when we go to settings and we go to security here and we check the box as global, what that is going to do is tell Mojo Portal, do not allow uh, the page edit or the page roles uh, to apply to this content anymore. So once that is checked, the only roles that apply to this content are the roles that you see here on this page. So the roles that can view it and the roles that can edit it. And that's there for good reason. And the reason is if you allow the page editors to be able to edit global content 
uh, to edit this piece of global content, then you could have the undesired result of somebody with a restricted page that can only edit their one page able to edit content that is on many other pages. So if you want uh, multiple people besides your administrators or your content administrators to be able to edit a piece of global content, you need to select either content authors if they're in that role, or if you have other roles on your site that those users are in, you would select them here and save it as you would any other time. And that completes our demonstration of the global content feature in Happy Mojoing.